Lord Bernhard TV. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Lord Bernhard TV back at you with another I just watched episode two of um what the hell did I just watch? Lovecraft Country. But is it worth your time? So we're coming fresh off the heels of a brilliant episode one. And it's a very, episode one was so good, it's really hard to think that they could top it. Episodes one had, you know, had really good pacing. It kind of just flowed. You get to episode two. You get to episode two? It's like slamming the gas on an exotic sports car. This episode is like a roller coaster with no safety belt. Oh, and you're going down like this. Oh my God, I'm scared of heights. I might fall out the coaster. And, ah. That's what it feels like. So this episode continues on where episode one left off. They just make it to the man. So they find the mansion where the father may be. His Atticus's father, right? But they're welcomed by a Caucasian male. And keep in mind, this is Jim Crow, 1950s. Heavy, 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 heavy racism. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So, but they're welcomed to this estate by a um, by a man, I think his name was Williams. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe that the, they were welcomed by a man named Williams, Caucasian man named Williams. And he was overly nice to them. Here, you want some food? Here's your rooms, clothing, anything you need, blah, blah, blah. So they're kind of like, hold on a second, something's wrong. If, if you're treating me this good in this environment, you're this nice to me, mother effer, something's wrong. You got to look at them like this. I mean, hold on. I can't do it myself like the rocks. So I got to do it manually. They they go to their own rooms and like everything that they like is there. You know, she goes to her room to try on clothes and the clothes in the closet fits her perfectly. Like they were custom made fitted. The books that both of them like, George likes, that Atticus likes are in the rooms. So it's almost like now it was planned for them to be here. They were supposed to be here, and there was a plan set in effect. You know, I'm not going to go any further with that. So, uh, continuing on in the episode, you're introduced now to magic. You're introduced now to wizards that are controlling things. He's introduced now to a society, a secret society, an order. You know, and he's fine. Atticus finds out that he's, um, he has power here. He has power. You know, because there was a line also in the trailer that says, you know, they don't want you here, but you belong here. So Atticus now is where he belongs. And he takes that power and, and makes it does some good stuff with it in a, in a meeting. I'm not going to ruin it in a sit down with with all of them. It was it was it was good just to see the, the narrative and the dynamics going on in that meeting. So not only do we have Wizards of Magic and and causing uh, people to not remember and they can Oh man, even the beasts that we've seen in episode one, are they just random? Are they created by this 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 um this order? Uh, what is going on? So now we have, you know, people taking out their kidneys, um, cutting them up on a plate, you know, for people to have a piece of them. I mean, this sounds weird to you, I know, but you got you have to watch it to see it. Um, so. It even goes to the Garden of Eden, out of the blue. What, what do you mean? We, we, we eight, we're in Lovecraft land. We go. We're trying to go to the Garden of Eden. So, how the Garden of Eden, Eden is, is um, placed in this is because you know, the Garden of Eden, the story. This is, the, you know, this is you can live forever. So the goal of this organization is to get back to the Garden of Eden to to live forever. You see what I'm saying? Um, and they do a little conversation about um eve and adam and all, all that that story and all, all of that stuff like that and, and and why they're you know trying to get back to um eden and atticus right atticus has the power to make it happen Ooh. so they they get atticus in his room they do a little ritual and while the ritual is going on so during this ritual they have a narrator talking about about you know um social justice type of things going on while this whole ritual is going on and there's drums going on is carrying on the, the portal opens up and atticus sees his great 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 uh grandmother that's pregnant and 
and things just gets crazy. Things blow up. Oh my God. Such an experience just to check it out, man. So they go through a lot in this episode. You know, you have a, you say like something traumatic happened to you um, and you can't remember, right? So Atticus asks the, um, the witch to take off the spell that they have, the memory loss memory loss spell on Alita and George so they can remember so she goes ahead and do that and when she does that they but this was in a favor that he was going to carry on and you know do what he had to do with the ritual and, and so forth especially dealing with his father and um Lita has been through so much and to see the 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 suffering she acted so well you could see the fear and just the the, the despair and grimace because there were some horrific things that happened in episode one she was also shot in episode two and, and, and died. And now she remembers that. So that's that's a shock, man. That's that's crazy, man. But um, it, it goes on and on. And they're on display also. They're, the magic is blocking the walls. And sometimes um, Atticus, Lolita, and George, they're on display for like the society to see them. Like, like you know, like it's some sort of show, you know. And um, it's very interesting. A lot of different messages going on, things to break down that we're going to do in a, in a full discussion when the whole thing is done that I'm going to do on this. But um, uh, it, there's many layers to this. There's a lot going on, a lot going on. There's, um, you know, whistles that may control these monsters. You got questions like, where did they come from? You know, oh, man. In episode two, there's really not that much, like I would say, pacing as far as like developing and dropping little things in slowly i mean once it gets going it's just dropping new thing on you after new thing after new thing because they found out what's going on you know and they said hey hey no 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 you doing this magic thing you you have the whistle that controls the beasts and x x ray z and a b c and a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p um and um yeah and so they had, so I don't know. Episode two may be split among people. I think I, I believe that a lot of people may or may not like episode two. I thought episode two though was fantastic, but I I, I can I can see people saying, well, the pacing was just too fast. Um, they found out things too fast, or, but I thought it was excellent, man. It was all over the place, a lot to process. You'll see when you watch it. It's definitely a watch. I just watched Should You? Yes, you should. Go check out Lovecraft Episode 2. Trust me. Trust me. And then when you see the, the previews of Episode 3? Episode 3? Come on, man. Now that, now that they, 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 they tapped into some wealth, Atticus tapped into some wealth, that's going to change. He's going back to the neighborhood ri a rich man. A rich man. There's going to be a lot of enemies, man. This is 1950s. Jealousy. Man. A brother? Rich? Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be a problem. But I, I can't wait for episode 3 next week, man. But anyway, I will see you on the next video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. And I will see you then. Have a glorious evening.